Hi, I'm Barry Garcia with Nanlite. In today's deeper look, we're gonna check out the Forza 300B. Now, the 300B itself is a metal frame with a carbon fiber overlay. It's got grates on top and bottom that allows the fan to move air through so it keeps the light cool. Now, we also have the yoke that goes down that allows you to tighten on both sides. It gives you the ability to be able to tilt this thing up or down, or on the actual stand, you can pan however you need to with the light. The head itself is about 5.7 pounds. The Forza 300B has a cob chip, all right? A cob chip LED basically is a chip on board. Now, this allows us to have that point source that we like so much. Now, it's a variable color temperature, meaning it's 2,700 degrees Kelvin, where that candlelight color up to 6,500 degrees Kelvin, which gives you more of a white light. So if you wanna match the color in like a, a house that has like a lot of tungsten lighting, you can actually dial this guy into 3,200 degrees Kelvin and you're pretty much ready to go. But if you also needed to match some of the light that was coming in from a window, like 5,600, you could do the same thing. So the 300B actually has a new feature in the menu setup. You have max lighting and constant lighting. Now what this basically does is it allows you to have about a quarter stop more light when you switch over to the max light. So let's talk about the brightness of the 300B. You're looking at 7,570 lux, that's at three feet. And you're looking at a little over 18,000 lumens. That's a bright light for any situation you might get into. So let's say you're in an audio critical situation and you need to turn the fan off. The light itself is going to drop down to about a 15% output. So on the 300B itself, it's got the dual locking yoke that we mentioned, as well as it has a 5H inch receiver. Now the 5H inch receiver allows you to put it onto any stand that you might need, whether it be a video stand or a photo stand with the tension knob. And then lastly, you've got the 90 degree hole in here that allows you to be able to turn this thing 90 degrees or to be able to use it more when it's facing down. Lastly, you have an umbrella mount that's on the side of the light here. Now next to the tension knob on the yoke, this allows you to slide the umbrella in, so to speak, and then you can bounce this light into an umbrella and use it wherever you might need to. So on the 300B, we have a very high CRI and a very high TLCI. We have a CRI of 96 and a TLCI of 98. So that means this light has really good color. So the 300B actually comes with a standard Bowens mount. This allows you to be able to use any of the Bowens mount modifiers that Nanlite makes as well as some of the other modifiers on the market that have a Bowens mount. It also comes with this reflector that pops right in. So the 300B itself actually comes with two other parts. You've got the head cable, which goes from the head down to the sled, and the sled itself. Now the sled itself allows you to be able to control the light, the effects, the color, the brightness, but it also has a place where you have the AC power supply, or if you wanna run it off of two batteries, you can do that as well and then it has the USB updater, all the pieces you may need to control this light. So on this side of the sled, you actually have the bottom part, which is the AC power adapter attaches, and that's to the Tapcon. Then you got DMX in, DMX out, and then the actual toggle switch to turn the fixture on with a little blue LED indicator. So on this side of the sled, you have your USB updater port, which is right here on the side, but then you also have the seven pin connector that attaches to the head. You attach the head cable straight to this guy right here, and you're all set. And then lastly, you have the toggle release to be able to take the AC power supply out when you want to use the batteries. So the Forza 300B takes two of the V-mount batteries that are 14.8 volt. Now this is going to give you about a little under an hour at 100%. So for the 300B sled, let's talk about some of the buttons and knobs that you have. So let's turn this thing on first. And then you're basically going to see the NAND light pop up and then you're going to get the actual screen for the CCT mode. Now this is a simple one. This actually controls our brightness as well as our color temperature or our CCT. Now, what's cool about this is, you know, depending you can go from zero to 100, whatever you might want to do, but also you can go from whatever you are to zero with a hot strike by tapping the blue button. Now, the same can be said for the color button. You can go through preset colors by tapping the black button. This just allows you total control. Now, jumping to the effects next, we have all different types of effects that we can go through. Paparazzi, storm, uh, pulse, flash, and intermittent loop, CCT. All these different ones allow us to be able to control different effects so we get different outlooks and things like that. But what's really cool about it is the fact that you can actually control some of the minute aspects of the effect. So like for instance, I can go down to the dim and change that over to you know, something that's easier and higher. 
I can change the actual color temperature if I don't like this. I can also change the intensity depending on how fast or slow I want it. Same with speed. I can do fast, fast, or slow, slow, depending on what works best for me and the effect. Now, moving on to the menu itself, there's quite a few different things that we can do in the menu. You've got output mode, you've got address or DMX, you've got wireless protocol, you can turn the fan on and off. There's lots of different ones, as well as what version of firmware you're on to. But as you go through, you use the black button to actually activate stuff. So if I'm in max output or constant output, I can make that change hit set and I'm on my way. Same with the fan. If I want to turn the fan on or off, set and the fans back on again. So with the 300B, there's a lot of different ways you can control it remotely. Now uh, we still have DMX 512, which is everybody knows is pretty common. It can be controlled with just a control board now, but you also have the 2.4 gig remote control. This actually comes with this fixture and this allows you to control, you know, up to 12 lights with it. And then you can use the remote protocol in the menus that allows you to be able to go with your RC1 remote control should you already have that. And lastly, we have the app and the control boxes. This allows you to be able to control this light with an app as well as go through multiple lights using the control box. So let's go to the menu and go down to addressing DMX. Now this allows you to address whatever it is in one DMX universe from one up to 512. Now, if we go back, you can actually set that at number two, and then we can go down to DMX mode. And now you can use either the 8-bit or a CCT 8-bit, depending on what you want to do for your brightness levels in your DMX mode. Now let's go back out and we'll go and look at wireless protocol. Now our wireless protocol allows us to use the 2.4 gig wireless remote that comes with that. You can either use it in version two, which will allow you to use the 2.4 gig, or you can use it in version one, which allows you to use the RC1 remote that you might already have. Lastly, you've got the locking button. Now the locking button basically does what it says. It allows you to lock this fixture down. So if it gets touched or bumped, it doesn't change. So the 300B actually has the entire yoke system, a 5 h inch receiver, the tension knob, and a 90 degree hole. This allows you to be able to put this light onto any stand. Now, the actual locking yoke allows you to set the light, lock it down into place. The 5 h inch receiver and the tension knob allow you to put it on a stand easily, tighten it down. And then if that doesn't work for you, if the light needs to be in like the 90 degree position, you can actually take it off, slide it on, and then tighten it down. You're ready to go. So one of the things that comes with the actual 300B is this nice handy sled clamp actually attaches to the stand like so add a little tension and then you're pretty much ready to go and I'll take the sled face it towards the clamp slide it in and you're all set so what do you get when you buy your 300B well you're gonna get the actual 300B light a 55 degree reflector the power sled with dual battery option head cable power cable remote control and lastly, you're gonna get the cool carrying case to keep it all in. So there are a lot of different accessories that you can get for your 300B because of the Bowens mount. It can be anything from soft boxes to Fresnels to the reflector that it comes with. All great accessories to have for your light. So that's all we have for this deeper look on the Forza 300B. But if you want more information, you can always go check us out at nanlightus.com or you can go to our YouTube channel to see more videos like this at Nanlite USA. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.